Welcome to this episode of the Morning Tea Marketing Misses. Why we, Why do we get together? Well, we hope to offer some valuable content for small business owners and sole traders to improve online presence and communicate more effectively to reach a larger audience. The month of April, we start sort of working around the health, uh, the health topic. And one of our ladies is going to divert a little bit, and I'll tell you about that in a moment. Our online today, we've got Narelle Gaddy, and Narelle is an accredited accessibility auditor. Um, I'm here, <laughs> and I assist women in leadership roles to remove limiting beliefs and have the courage to stand out as an authority in their field. Gorgeous Kate Smith is a graphic designer for service and experience-based businesses. The, the treat today, Jan Roche, her business, as you've been listening, you would have found out her business is BizConnect Web Designs. And Jan has been giving some amazing information on how you can improve your visibility, your SEO and everything online. But what you didn't know, or maybe you did, Jan also has another business called Over 50 Health. And she's talking about how we can be healthy and in our lives and in our business today. Welcome, Jan, and all the uh, everyone else that's here. Thank you, Janine. Hi, ladies. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. well. Good, good to see you guys. Yes. Yeah, so this month we are talking about health, and instead of talking about the health of websites, um, mm -hmm. as Janine mentioned, I do have um, another business, and it is called Over Fifties Health. Being that I am over fifty, <laughs> I'm certainly qualified to talk about over 50s health. Um, <clears throat> now, I, I have um, a lot of clients who still want to train with me and I'm still attracting clients who are not 50 or above. Um, and that's fine because I certainly am qualified to, um, to work with those from any age, really. So a bit of a rundown, um, if I may, before I start talking about health is that I am a powerlifter with Powerlifting Australia. I am a national coach and I have a level one accreditation with the NCAS, which is the National Coaching Accreditation Scheme. And I'm also an international ref with World Powerlifting. So I do have a little bit of experience. Wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> Go, girl. Of experience. And I do have um, quite a few Australian records that I've had for several years now. And... Um, now that I've just gone into the next age group, I, um, I've been eyeing off what I need to do to take national Oceania and world records. Yeah. So, yeah. Fantastic. So we'll, see. we'll see how that all goes. But look, clearly it's a passion of mine. Um, I do love health and I love what strength training has done for me. And um, anyone who will listen, I talk to about powerlifting and strength training. So um there's a there's a big fallacy that I find working so I I now have a um I'm a trainer at Dolphins Gym in Redcliffe um and so there's a lot of PT that would be that the Dolphins Gym would it Jen absolutely <laughs> the Dolphins that were beaten by the Broncos on the weekend just oh, slide that in <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell you what, I, was, I am torn. I, I was am torn. cheering for both of them. I didn't know who to cheer for, but then I was. I am a Broncos. I'm with you, so Janine. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So my my logo, as you can see, well, I have my name and Dolphins Fitness and Aquatic, and of course over fifty cells. Um, that logo there. So anyway, what I was talking about is um, PTs in a gym typically do not know how to train for strength. And that's not a blanket, I'm just saying that typically, and I get a lot of PTs who approach me asking for help because they just don't know how to train correct technique in, in particular lifts. So I, um, I had a session this morning with a man who's 61 and he really is quite strong and looks, looks really great for a man who's 61. And so over the last few weeks, he's been talking to me about different challenges that he's had because I said to him, you know, he's, he's very strong upper body and I can see he's doing bench press and whatever. And I say to him, oh, what do you do for your legs? And he said, oh, I, I don't really because I've had a broken back a couple of times. And so I don't really train my back and my legs. And I, so I've given him a few little tips on some rehab stuff to do and so on. And so he's been doing those and, and, and really noticing a difference. And so I said to him, why don't you have a session with me? And so today 
he has gained a completely new perspective and understanding on how a power lifter trains versus a PT. Okay. So, yep. So the the thing about power lifting, it is all about strict technique so that you don't hurt yourself. So what we find, what I'm finding is that a lot of people who have been doing particular exercises and whatever for a long time, when they start training with like me, they they realize that just a few little tweaks to do things properly makes the world of difference. And he his face was beaming at the end of that session. He was just like, okay, because he's got a, a really bad shoulder. So I did a few little, you know, rehab stuff with him beforehand. <clears throat> and he just said, my shoulder is not sore and it usually is very painful every time I train. And so I just I just said to him, look, you, you've realized that doing the activations and so on before we start training today, started training today is what's made the difference and the correct technique. And and so yeah, he's super excited. And now he's like, Oh, I'm just gonna arrange things because I want to train with you. <laughs> oh wow. Really, really yeah. terrific. So I'm excited about that. So look, the benefits for strength training and what I'm doing with over 50s health is that I really love working with people who are conscious of their health and that they are even though they don't understand what strength training or how to strength train they know that there's something about it that they probably should be doing mm -hmm. so so with what I do the three disciplines that I work with as a power lifter is squat bench and deadlift now every single day moves that we make walking up the stairs carrying the groceries getting in and out of a chair off the loo for goodness sake we are we are doing squat bench or deadlift every day we just don't realize it so especially as we age and you know us girls with our bone density when we reach the age where we're going through all this menopause stuff and whatever else our bone density can just fall away quite quickly whereas strength training resistance training is so beneficial for increasing our bone density right so it's, it's super important but mentally my gosh it is so good it's like we've had people say um strength training is my antidepressant so That's we've had good. people go off of their medications off of their antidepressants through their strength training so that's a really good thing um to think about so you know, people look at me and they just, they see me training and yes, I'm strong. I can do some really super heavy um, weights. And so they just think, oh, I can't do strength training. I can't do what you do. Well, I would not expect you to because you've got to start where you are now. And then you, we call it progressive overload. So each time you train, it's one more rep or one more set or half a kilo more. It, it doesn't really matter. And even if you're doing the same thing for a few weeks in a row, it doesn't matter if you just, you know, that could be you just perfecting your technique to make sure that you're staying safe and that you're growing um, in your strength and your ability. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I really do think like us with Over 50s Health, we are working on strength, nutrition, heart and mind health. So this man yeah, is simply... Yeah, just, just so I want to interrupt. We, you said, you know, just that little bit more. What did you call that? That, that one more progressive overload progressive overload you know what there's there's a lot of talk about that doing that one percent more in business that yeah. just that one percent more each time you do something yeah. and that's exactly the same isn't it it's it is and whether it is for physical or it's somewhere you want to apply in your business just one percent more in a particular area yeah. will make a difference absolutely and look there's always it's always super important too in in business in life in the gym you need to have a coach and um i'm a coach myself but i still need to have a coach and i did a presentation once um and the topic was strong mind strong body how that applies to um to your business and your life and so i just talked about how in my training when i was um heading towards a competition i would have different coaches that i would work with and so yes i would have my strength coach i would have my nutrition coach and i would have others like even just 
um, someone to talk to about different things. Um, like a, um, I was talking with a counsellor, but she was a sports counsellor. So even little things like she would say, do you recognise the difference between, um, you know, just muscle soreness because of the, the exercises that you're doing and, hey, I've got to stop this because I'm hurting myself. And I, I'm i like, yeah, I, I'm all over that. Um, so that, that's a real thing, just to have somebody to keep you on, on track to where you need to be. But having how I applied, you know, having the other coaches in my life with my training, also with my business, you have to have the right team. Mm -hmm. So you, we are big in BizConnect. We are very big on understanding or getting to know the right um, personality, the right um, profile of our team members. So me, I'm in the sales and marketing department of our business because I need to be out there with people. That That's my thing. Whereas for me to sit behind the desk and just plug away doing stuff online or, or whatever, sure, I can build websites. That's that's no issue. But it's not my natural talent. So we need to make sure that we apply the right person in our business as in, you know, the right coach um, for our strength or nutrition um, as well. So, yeah, um, with Over 50s Health, we do... Yes, we, we focus on strength training because of the fantastic benefits there. Also nutrition, we, we, we know and practice the fact that we need to fuel our bodies. So especially if we're doing some heavy weights with our training, we need to make sure that we have a really good feed afterwards. So I recently started working with a beautiful lady. Her name is Renee Bailey, and she is a clinical nutritionist. And she has also joined our over 50s health team as our clinical nutritionist. So I'm a patient of hers, but she's also joined our team and she is just absolutely amazing. And um, yeah, so we also work with cardio health, even though I hate cardio and I don't do cardio. Me doing cardio is just lifting faster. <laughs> 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 or because we live in this beautiful place, the Redcliffe Peninsula, um, have, we go for a walk along the boardwalk or along the water front and we just take in all that beauty. Um, and that, that, that also helps us with our mental health. Mm. So, you know, the great, the great hormones and, and whatever that are produced through doing the resistance training is one thing. Um, but also, you know, taking in this beautiful stuff that we have around us here is just amazing. So, and that was one thing that um, this man said to me this morning, because um, I've said to him in the past, you know, cardio, you won't see me doing cardio, because he jumps on the treadmill after he's done a, a weight session. And he said, oh, should I go and jump on the treadmill? I went, no. <laughs> I said, go for a walk. The weather here is gorgeous today. I said, you go for a walk along the beach. I said, tomorrow, you've got to have a rest day. So go for a walk along the beach or go for a swim or something like that. So um, just helping him to understand that your recovery day, especially as we get older, your recovery day is just as important as your training day. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So look, it's, um, I I've rambled on a lot very quickly about, a lot of <laughs> through, um, about over 50 self, but whether you're over 50 or not, strength training is amazing for everybody and for women, especially like I said, with the, the bone density and so on. And, and it's a fallacy when you hear somebody say, oh, I, I don't want to lift weights because I don't want to look like a man. I was like, how many men do you know that look really good like that anyway? But no, we don't have, <laughs> <laughs> we don't have the anatomy to look like a man just by doing some resistance training. We really don't. You know, you have you know the other thing, Jan, that I just want to mention, because and I could be wrong, but you're the expert, not me. So when you're talking about squats, bench, and deadlifts, yep. they're all core strength, aren't they, as well? Everything You've got to have a strong core. Yes, you do. You do. Okay. And look, Narelle, with um, squat, bench, and deadlift, they really are, all of them are all over body exercises. Yeah. Yeah, because... And the reason I was going to say it is like for my particular disability, I've got to have a strong core because yeah. one of the issues that I have is if I fall, oh, yeah. I can lose more sight. So I've got to have that really strong core to stop myself from falling. And yeah. I'm thinking, oh my God, strength training. 
Yeah, I used absolutely. to do gym work and I do Pilates and a lot of other things now. Yeah. But, you know, it, it's another thing that, you know, people with disability, you know, where you're liable to fall, yeah. it's another tool, another yes, piece of equipment that you can use. Yeah. It's not resource. just disabilities, though, Narelle. It's, I mean, I had two really bad, heavy falls um, yeah. last year and the year before. Just yeah. silly things, just writing running a push bike and crashing it and things like yeah. that. Yeah. But because I have done, I haven't done in recent times, but I spent 20 years doing strength and cardio and walking. And so I didn't have any broken bones. Mm -hmm. and, and, and other people I know, I'm sure, have had less um, severe impact yeah. and have broken things a lot more easily. You know, mm -hmm. It does help keep a bit of extra weight on because sort of. <laughs> <laughs> every time you take a step you're loading it as as opposed to you know an extra 10 kilo load. Yeah, and look it is amazing those who have been carrying a lot of weight tend to be quite strong anyway because they have to carry themselves around yeah mm. it's yeah. really surprising i know when i used to work with people you just go wow look how strong yeah. you are and it was but yeah. you know what the core thing i'm glad you brought that up narelle because what i'm thinking about in business we need a strong core and, yeah. and i know i i was interacting with somebody this morning who's just starting out and there's there was so much coming at her she just was not sure what steps to take in hearing all this different expert advice from different people and then not sure where to go with it and I and it just made me think then it's that strong core and, and hopefully you know there were mm. a few coaches with her were able to give and we we're all on the same page on the advice we we're giving which was helpful that that you know you need to build that up don't you it's not just in your physical health it's in your business health no it's yeah all like every single like you know i'm a very big believer in setting goals and um especially as an athlete and even though right now i'm not in this condition but i've been an elite athlete and i know what it takes the discipline it takes every single day and it's 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 like every single second of every day you're focused and you can just you can take on the world when you are focused on your goals and like you know you're setting out and you're like how you said to break down your 90 day goals mm -hmm. it's just break it down and eat it like the elephant right you yeah. just gotta break it yeah. down into bite-sized size pieces and you tick it off and you feel that accomplishment that you, you've ticked that off um as you go along and i, I just I just thrive on that and I feel so out of control if I haven't got goals to focus on and even much more out of control if I haven't done my meal prep. Because <laughs> so, you know, yeah. I love food and I need food because of what I put my body through. And, yeah. uh, I, speaking of that, I've had a lot of people over the years talk about how they can't do weights because they've got off arthritis. Let me tell mm. you, I have it would be the opposite, wouldn't it? Mm. I have arthritis all through my fingers, all through. So my C1 through to C7 is all arthritis, and I have bulging disc at C7. I have arthritis in my lower back, like right down, um, right down the C S. Oh, sorry, not C L5, S, L4. That's one L5 S1, and also my right hip. So. I have a lot of arthritis throughout my body and I'm pretty sure I've got some in my T-spine as well because I feel it every now and again. And I have a curve in my spine, so much so that I've lost about a centimetre and a half in my height over the last few years. So if I wasn't doing some resistance training and building up that muscle to support my frame, I'd be in a lot of trouble by now. Yeah. So we really do. When someone says, oh, you, you're too old to lift weights or you shouldn't lift weights if you've got arthritis, the absolute opposite is true. Yeah. Yeah. You really have to be doing that. As, and again, bring that back to business, Jan. You know, if you have the things set up, then when things come at you, that it's not, you can still maintain or you can still go, th you know, achieve results. You can take, yeah, you can take the hit. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, great conversation. Oh, brilliant. Ladies, thank you, Jan, for so much information there. It's, uh... I'm a little bit passionate about it. Oh, passionate. you could tell, really? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't have picked it. Yeah. Uh, Any uh, final questions for Jan before we finish our uh, conversation today? Yeah, loved it, Jan. Great work. Really good. Yes, yeah, really interesting. About it too. Thank so, you. yes, I'll, um, I'll give you the link to uh, 
um, our Facebook and Instagram pages. And of course, the website is over50shealth.au. It's brilliant. Yes. And if you're living on the north side of Brisbane, you can actually attend the dolphins. Come and see the dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Thanks, Jan. And thank you, everyone else, Kate and Narelle, for adding in the comments. And it just makes an interesting conversation. Mm -hmm. That is another conversation with the Morning Tea Marketing. This is remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We love subscribers and share it out far and wide if you've joined, enjoyed what you've heard and remember to leave a comment so we can give some feedback and know how we are going have a great day have a great week have a great month have a great year <laughs> and keep that body healthy bye-bye thanks ladies bye thanks. Thanks.